this video I'm going to show you how to use the Pololu Maestro Control Center, which is a software that I is used to program the Pololu Maestro servo controller, um, which is what I use to control my AutoCap rig. And so when you um, pull up the control center, it'll look something like this. I'm using the microcontroller, which has six channels, so I see six channels in the status page. I've named a couple of them, so I have rotation, that's the continuous rotation servo that rotates the rig, that's plugged into channel zero, and then the shutter servo is plugged into channel one. <clears throat> um, you can name those under channel settings if you want to do the same thing I did. Um, in addition to those things that are plugged in, I also obviously I have the controller plugged in via USB, and so you see that that's connected. And then I also have the power source, so that um, this isn't set up to power the servos over USB, so you do have to plug in the battery as well. So I have a two-cell lithium polymer battery for this, um, which puts out 7.4 volts nominal. Um, so that works well because this controller's range is 5 to 16 volts. Um, all right, so if you want to start testing the servos, you can just click Enable for the channels that you have. And when you do that, you'll get some sliders, which will let you um, test how they rotate. So I don't have the video showing them, but I'm going to try to let you hear what's going on by putting the servo up to the mic. So if I take channel zero, which is the continuous rotation servo, and I move the slider, you should hear that rotating, and it speeds up as I move the slider farther and then goes back to zero, and then it rotates the other way if you move the slider the other way. With the channel one servo, that is just a regular position servo, so if I move that, you'll hear it move to a different position, and then you can move it the other way, obviously. So this is a cool way to um, to program your controller and you can use these sliders to figure out what values you want. And then when you want to save a motion, you can just move one of the sliders to wherever you need it to be um, for whatever position or speed you need and then click save frame down here at the bottom. And then you can move it back if you want. Um, obviously you can do any combinations of positions and motions doing this type of approach. So to see the frames that you've saved, you can click over on this sequence tab and you'll see what you have. Um, this frame four is the new one that I just saved, but I already had the four that I needed for the AutoCap rig <clears throat> saved. So I just have the first one just waits. So nothing's happening at all. They're just in the neutral, neutral positions. Then the shutter servo goes. Um, these durations are in milliseconds, so the first one is about 3.6 seconds, then the next one is 0.35 seconds for the shutter, and then another move back to neutral position for 0.9 seconds, and then finally the rotation servo goes for um, an eighth of a second. And I've, I've played with those sliders so that I get basically 15 degrees for each rotation, and then this whole thing takes five seconds. So every five seconds I'm rotating 15 degrees and taking a picture. Um, now if you want to play the whole sequence, you can click this. You probably want to click play in a loop and then you can click play sequence. So I'll put the servos up to the mic again and you can, there goes the shutter and then it rotates. I don't know if you can hear the rotation servo because it's so quick. I'll let it go one more time. All right. Um, so anyway, using this, you can test the sequence that you've made and make sure that it does what you want it to do. Um, and then finally, what you're going to want to do to actually use this for CAP is you're going to want to save this to the controller itself so that it can run it when you plug it in. Um, so to do that, you want to do copy sequence to script and then you'll go over to the script page and you'll see what you got. Um, so the, the script that, it's, that it saves is gonna be basically the exact same thing that you got by clicking play in a loop and then play sequence. So it's gonna have an 
uh, an infinite loop going on where that sequence is just going to keep going over and over. Um, but the nice thing is you don't really know, need to know how to program this yourself. It's going to do all the hard work for you. And if you're, if you're fine with just having that loop going over and over as it was, then you can just leave it like that and click run script to run script on startup and then apply settings and it should be ready to go. Um, I did make a couple small changes to it. So the first thing was I didn't want it to start up right away. I wanted to put in a little bit of a delay so that I have time to get the rig up in the air before it starts taking pictures. So that's what this lineup at the top does. I just let it wait five sec five minutes before it starts. And then rather than letting it go forever, I decided to have it do 400 total <clears throat> um, pictures. So uh, I put in that number and then I just converted the loop from an endless loop to a while loop. Um, so that was pretty simple. That's just a matter of putting in the 400 and then putting in this line, the dupe, and then while, and then at the bottom one minus. Um, and then finally, to do the delay, you need a couple of functions at the bottom. Um, and so all of these changes that I made, both the while loop and then those functions at the bottom, uh, those are came straight from the example scripts on the Pololu documentation. So you don't need to figure out that out either, um, but <clears throat> it's pretty simple. So, uh, yep, that's about it. Just remember you'll want to do run script on startup and then apply settings and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching.